Hello everybody and welcome back to more Dragon Ball Fighters. Today we got some very credible leaks from the man himself once again, Ryo Kutia. Now this information that he leaked was actually Roshi's official moveset. Now after we talk about these leaks, I do want to go into more detail with the reveal trailer they did give us just a couple days ago. Now obviously it was only like a 20 second clip of Roshi, but I do want to dive into it a little bit more. I want to point out each reference from the show and the manga. And I also kind of want to give more input as well. And also a quick shout out to DBS Hype on Twitter. Thanks to them we did get the translation for the leaks. So if you guys want to go ahead and check them out and follow them on Twitter, I'll put a link in the description below. Please go and check them out. They always give us credible sources and information that is just super, super helpful. So let's start from the top of the list. Many people were hoping Master Roshi would have a Super Dash, and unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Instead, they are equipping him with a Leap Technique. So this will obviously replace the Super Dash for Roshi. This doesn't necessarily turn my head, but there is a lot of people out there who are not too keen on this decision. Next on the list is going to be Lightning Surprise. <laughs> Excuse me. And next on the list is going to be Lightning Surprise Attack. I honestly thought they would have this as another level 1, but having this as a special move is actually really cool. As it states, this move will hit you even if you are blocking in the air. Speaking of an attack that will hit you regardless of you blocking, next up is his Hypnosis Technique. If you guys watched my prediction video, I got this one spot on. I thought it would add a stun, and it very well could, but even if you block, this move will land. We are starting to see a little pattern here of Roshi having unblockable attacks, and that's really making a good case for this character so far. We now know his next level 1 super which is called Max Power Attack. This states that it will have a long press to launch a Kamehameha. So I guess you could say the Max Power Attack is more or less kind of like the Meteor Attacks from Tenkaichi, but let me know how you guys think this attack's gonna look in the comment section below. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty interested to see how this actually looks. Obviously his next level 1 is Mafuba, or best known as Evil Containment Wave. We saw this in Master Roshi's reveal trailer and it looks beautiful. Now looking back at the trailer, you see him seal Piccolo inside of the box. My big question for this level 1 is if you finish that character off, if you kill that specific character, say Piccolo, will they stay in that bottle and show that specific scene? And the answer to that is probably yes, but I just want to make sure and see if that's actually going to be a thing. Because if you look at Android 21, Majin Buu, and Android 17, they all have unique special finishes with their supers. And like I said, it's probably a yes, but I'm just hoping that's going to be a thing. And of course, lastly on this list is this level 3. And of course, your boy Connor is out here once again with another prediction that is spot on. On. Max Power Kamehameha will be his only level 3 move. I mentioned in my prediction video that we may not see Buff Roshi as an install. He might just be seen with the Max Power Kamehameha. And unfortunately, that's exactly what it looks like. So overall, looking at the leaks, I'm still very excited about the character. But having no Super Dash, that's going to be very challenging. Let's just hope it's not as bad as Videl's spot dodge. And guys, trust me, nothing can be worse than her spot dodge. Try it! And of course, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you happy with the moves that they gave Roshi, or do you think something should be added and don't say they should add a super dash that's not gonna happen so with that being said guys let's move on to the second part of the video where we go back and analyze the reveal trailer that came out just a couple days ago like i said at the beginning of the video i want to show you guys and point out different references from the show and the manga so looking back at the reveal trailer you see roshi starting off his basic auto combo it's just a standard 5 lll and it ends with almost a beerus type of side switch hit the only difference is that roshi blasts you with a small blue key blast and as you can see the move causes you to to bounce off the wall. In this specific frame, you can see Piccolo being smacked into the side, and the wall bounce effect is there behind him. What's really, really cool about each of these attacks is they're combined from different moments from the manga and the show, like I said before. His starting light is from Dragon Ball Episode 26, when Goku and Master Roshi face off in the World Martial Arts Tournament. His second hit is from what I believe is when he faces Jiren in the Tournament of Power from Chapter 59 of the Dragon Ball Super manga. Keep in mind that this only happened in the manga. His third hit also comes from fighting Jiren as well in the same chapter. After. That third hit allows him to go past the player and goes into this next move. This next move is something he used against Ganos in episode 105 of Dragon Ball Super. And obviously, if you land the full auto combo, you will get that wall bounce at the end. And of course, after landing the auto combo, Evil Containment Wave comes next. The last thing we got to see in this trailer is Master Roshi's outro. Now, you may think this is just Roshi being weird and goofy, but this is actually a shout out to a lot of different moments from Dragon Ball and ends it with Dragon Ball Super. Thanks to Ronaldo Saiyan for posting this on Twitter. I'll, of course, leave their link in the description below, they showed each reference accordingly with Roshi's fighter's outro. The one thing I really hope Arc System does for Roshi is make his intro exactly how he was introduced in Dragon Ball. You'll see him coming in from the distance with his turtle hermit shell, his staff, and his old turtle friend. Please add this intro for Roshi. It has to be done. It just has to. And there we have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Everything I wanted to talk about and all the leaks and everything, all the information we have so far with Roshi, we got it all out there on the table. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And 
as always, guys, leave your comments down below and let me know your thoughts about Roshi so far. Do you like his moveset? Do you think something should be added? Are you sad that there's no Super Dash for this character? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and found it somewhat useful or helpful for you. And if you guys did, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.